I actually wasn't planning on filming this video today, but I was just chilling on the couch and I was watching Funny Farm and I'm just in like this fall mood and so I was like, I just felt like it. I felt like I wanted to go ahead and film this video today for you guys. But it is my Bath and Body Works haul. I rarely shop at Bath and Body Works two times max per year. It is a very charming store to want to shop at. However, I prefer like my candles from Walmart. Most of you are watching me, you, you know this about me. Um, but they do have really good smelling stuff. Um, so I wanted to show you what I got for fall. I did actually buy some candles. They had a huge sale when I ordered online and that's just how I shop now online because it's the most beautiful creation ever is online shopping personally for me. So, um, you know, your girl went through Ebates, so don't forget that. But they had an amazing deal that day. They had a candle deal. They had like the soap deal, the bath deal. I mean, all kinds of deal. Now I did buy these candles blind because I know some of them have come back, but I don't remember all the scents at the top of my head. So I did pick up Autumn. So here is what the candle looks like. I love the lid. It's gorgeous. And the thing about Bath and Body Works is their packaging just gets you, you know, but really if you can't afford Bath and Body Works candle, go to Walmart. They're the best in my opinion. But Autumn smells really, really amazing. Red apples, fresh eucalyptus, and uh, fir balsam. So wow, it really does smell like all of those things. That is amazing. Who remembers the one video where I was trying to describe scents and it was awful? It was like something about Peter Malark and him coming home to me and cooking. I'm bad at describing scents, but this one smells really good. I actually like it. The next one is pumpkin apple. I had high hopes for this because I've hauled a pumpkin apple type of candle before from like Ross and I loved it. But when I smelled this, mm, it's a little too much pumpkin and cinnamon for me. I'm not sure I'm picking up too much apple. I feel like it's more pumpkin cinnamon, but I do sort of pick up the fruity aspect to it. But this is what it looks like. It is a red wax and it is beautiful and I will burn this, but probably only for like an hour at a time because these are really strong. Okay, the last candle, so I did get three candles. I think they were like 1250. So, uh, yeah, so the last candle is your the Bee's Knees. Is that? The scent? I guess so. Yeah, it's a honey vanilla. I was gonna do this. That's literally what I was gonna do. And it smells like honey and vanilla and it's divine. It is divine and I love how pretty this candle is. I mean, I will probably burn this in my entryway and just face it like this. I mean, I'm not really a fan of like that, but I love this. I love the clean look. So this one smells really good. I have to say of all three of them, this one's probably my favorite. All right, now let's get into the hand soaps. I did get, how many did I get? I only got three, two? Girl, I need to check that order. Why did I think I got three? Well, I only have two and for starters, the packaging sold me. There was something about this whole thing that got me. And this is a nourishing hand soap with honey butter and it is golden pear. So you can kind of see like the bee thing with the honeycomb um, print. Let's see what it smells like. Oh, that golden pear smells out of this world. I love this scent. Isn't it odd how we all register scents a different way? It's not like I choose to love fruit smells. It's just how my nose communicates to my brain that it loves it, right? Isn't that like weird? Anyone else think that's weird? Like this to like that smell to me could smell gross to someone else. Like, isn't that just odd? I don't get why some of them have this packaging and others don't. I really, it's a mystery. Okay, the next one is spiced apple bourbon and it's nourishing hand soap with pumpkin butter. I just love the whole packaging. They, they sold me on the apples and the green color. Like they just, they knew, they knew what they were doing. Mm-mm, mm-mm, nope, nope. 
Do not like this. At all. See, this is why you go in store. You guys, this smells like alcohol. I mean, I know they said bourbon, but geez, I mean, I didn't know, you know, like, I didn't know they were gonna go there. But it smells like spiced apple and bourbon. And obviously that's my fault because they're very clear. Um, I just kind of thought it would be like a play, a little play on bourbon. But it smells like someone at the factory got lit, okay? I know, I wasn't supposed to say that word anymore. It was the only word that was appropriate. Okay, so let's do, let's see what's next. All right, let's do some body washes next. And I got pear berry and then pretty as a peach. So, you know, what'd you expect? When you come to my channel, it's all gonna be fruity. Pear berry smells delicious. I think I've actually bought pear berry stuff before. So this may be like, um, a scent that's been around it. I was gonna say Dollar Tree at Bath and Body Works for a while and I really do like that. I tend to not want to use Bath and Body Works um, body wash because I feel like there's so much perfume in it that it's drying on the skin but I also like to you know pamper myself every now and then so I'll use this like once a week in the shower. So these do last me a really long time like a long time. Pretty as a Peach smells really good. It's really soft, it's not too overpowering. It, I'm really impressed by this smell, I really like it. And they look, they look identical in color, the same color. So those are the only two that I got. Now I do have more body wash in this type of packaging and I prefer this packaging over this one. I don't know, I just do. Okay, so this one is the Apple and Honey Champagne. Now they have this whole line with Apple and Honey and I have more to show you, but this is the body wash and it says creamy. So, oh my God. that is right up my alley. It smells so pretty. It smells like apples and honey. But I just hope that whenever I'm wearing, like, I've lathered with this stuff that people can actually smell it. I've never asked anyone, hey, can you smell, can you, like, actually smell this on me? You know, I wonder if other people can smell, like, your bath stuff on you. Typically, people will, like, smell your shampoo, um, but I don't know about body wash. What's your experience with that? Has anyone ever, like, complimented you on, like, your body wash? Um, the next one is Autumn Blooms. So this one says, with pure honey autumn blooms now I don't ever go for florals because florals tend to give me a headache and this is a florally smell and it's actually very pretty it is like the smell that you would just think a charming lady would wear like this is such a great scent for women I think I really do like this one here is another apples and honey but this is the body cream so I have the body wash and I have the body cream. I love it. I love the gold top too and I'm assuming it smells the same. You guys, give me a minute. I don't know that the body cream smells as good as this. No scent but not in a good way. That made no sense, but mm, I'm gonna try the body wash and see if it kind of has the same effect on me, but the body wash smells really good straight from the packaging, but the body cream didn't smell the same to me. And I got another, another apples and honey because I love apples, so I thought that it would be a hit, and this is a body scrub. So you can kind of see the, um, the little like it's closed thank god yeah that has the same scent as the body cream it's not i'm not digging it i am not digging it i'm not digging these two it's very bizarre i usually love all the scents i get so out of my whole haul these three are not good to me whatsoever can you return to bath and body works even though you tested it <sighs> all right well these three are a no-go for me. I personally don't like it. I'm still going to like give this a try though. 
um, and maybe see if it will just smell good. Maybe I've been smelling too many things at once. This one, pleasantly surprised because I'm not into florals, but this smells really great. This one smells really great. I like the smell of this in the body wash, so that's good. I absolutely love these two, and this soap is divine, and the candles are really great too. The pumpkin apple, like I said, may be a little bit too much for me. I may put this like upstairs, um, but otherwise autumn and then this honey vanilla are amazing. I really, really love it. But otherwise, I probably won't go back to Bath and Body Works again until like the, the summer. I tend to go for them for like summer and fall and then I never check them out again. Uh, maybe in the winter time because they do those popular like marshmallow fireside and flannel and all of those scents. But I tend to like to stick to my candles and wax melts from Walmart. Cheaper. They smell amazing. There's tons of variety. Way more I think at Walmart than at Bath and Body Works. Well that didn't go as expected. I thought I was gonna love everything. Okay guys, well that's it. I'm actually gonna go right back to my couch and hang out and watch Funny Farm and just chill out. I always say that, but I can't ever do it. I end up just spending 10 minutes on the couch before I'm up and doing something. Anyone else? All right, so this is it. I am going to end the video and I'll see you guys.